The first mate told me we're going to be looking for an Earth Pulse thingy, right? The ship's ready to leave whenever. Do you want to depart now? It's here! This is the Earth Pulse Point! Nothing but open water as far as the eye can see. Is your Earth Pulse Point down below? Oh. Uh... Most of this world is covered by ocean, so of course there'd be a lot of Earth Pulse Points in the deep sea. But surely even the Abbey would have a hard time containing a Therian underwater, right? Looks like this one's a bust then. Sorry, everyone. Hold on. We've seen a bug Therian. You don't think there could be fish as well? You may have a point. I think I have just a solution for this. You do? This. What? what? Don't give me that look. I'll have you know this is Fujibayashi's rod. This baby's nine feet long, made from a single piece of the finest bamboo aged five years, with a slow 60-40 action that almost feels alive when it bends. Its exquisitely wrapped handle feels like an extension of your own arm. And just look at that elegant black lacquer finish. It's as perfect a fishing rod as there can be. I'm... I'm sure it's a lovely fishing pole, but... Fishing? Are you sure? This is a Therian we're talking about. All the more reason. Remember who you travel with. Uh, okay? All right, if no one else will, I'm going to veto this fishing idea. Aw, oh, come on, let's give it a shot. Mm, I'd love to have me some koi or sockeye salmon. Don't encourage them. How do you attach the hook to the line? Like... this? <laughs> you don't go fishing much, do you? It's just been a while. This is my first time. Then we can try it together. I'll teach you how it's done. I didn't know you could fish, Eleanor. Yeah, when I was little, old man Tenny taught me. He was from my village. I've caught at least a hundred tree at loaches over the years. Wow, that's a lot of fish. Those two really get along. If I didn't know better, I think she's his sister, not his vessel. Eleanor certainly got Lafayette's number. Better watch out, Velvet, or she'll steal him away. Lafayette, let's get the line set up properly. First, you take it and thread it through the hook, like so. That looks hard. Uh, hey, once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do it with your eyes shut. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Huh? You mean me? Oh, um, I was just... Be careful there. Wouldn't want you falling into the water or anything. I'm not a little kid, you know. It's just that Luffy fell in once. A long time ago. Luffy? You mean your younger brother? That's right. You reminded me of him is all. If you say so. Is that all you wanted to say to me? Yeah. That's it. Okay, then. I'm going back to fishing with Eleanor. Mm -mm. People aren't as easily swapped in and out as fish hooks, are they? Is that supposed to mean something? Oh, Velvet! Uh, you gotta get it a lot tighter than that. Here, let me take a look at it. Huh? Oh, uh... All right. Old man Tenny sounds like he was a real goofball. Definitely. He used to say the weirdest things while we'd be fishing, just to make me laugh. Like what? Oh, it was all nonsense, but it was funny to me. The silly stuff like... Papero popero pippity poppity poo <laughs> Yeah, that's silly, all right. Those two look like they're having fun. If you truly admired the fishies, you'd never dream of doing this to them. No matter how tasty the bait, it's a poor trade for a barbed hook in the lip and a cruel death in the unforgiving air. I don't admire fish. Fish exist to be caught and eaten, as far as I'm concerned. 
Can't argue there. Raw, boiled, or grilled with a little salt. You can't go wrong. <laughs> and if they're nothing but food to you, even their wretched squirms of agony can hold a kind of beauty. <laughs> my rod back now hey don't rush me here if I'm... i appreciate the effort and all but do you seriously think we'll actually catch a therian here beats me but the first mate hasn't met a fish he can't catch huh aizen's really that accomplished of a fisherman hey aizen how about a competition let's see who can catch the biggest fish don't be ridiculous fishing is a solitary battle it's about meditation and self-control. Oh, aren't you the philosophical one all of a sudden? <sighs> but I suppose. I can't deny I really want to put this rod to the test. Yeah, I know that feeling. Whenever I find a good sword, there's nothing I want to do more than to swing it. Sure enough. Yeah. Although in my case, it's usually more like blood spurting. A bit too much blood either way, if you ask me. Listen, we're fishing no matter what. Fine. You're on. But we both know already how this is gonna end. <laughs> you can plan all the victory speeches you like, but fishing is like life. Doesn't always go the way you think it will. You ready? Let's do this. At what point did the Therian hunt turn into a contest? Hey, Velvet! I've got your rod all... This thing could even catch a whale if you wanted to. The rest is up to you. A Therian, you mean. <sighs> Might as well give it a shot. It's not like anyone else remembers what we're here for. Oh! Something's pulling the line! Stay calm. Fishing isn't about strength, it's about timing. Oh, okay, got it. Here it comes. You ready? <laughs> Damn right I am. I'll fillet it before it can even land. If it's a Therian, don't you dare kill it. Now! Heave! Well, what do you know? Neither a fish nor a Therian. Well, shoot. Can't eat that. Oh. It looks like it fit you, though, Laffy said. Why don't you try it on? I concur. Maybe it'll bring out his unique personality. My unique personality, huh? See? What did I tell you? It looks great on you, Laffy said. You... you really think so? Yeah! Brings out your special charm, kiddo. Come on. Back to Therian fishing. You don't need to take it so seriously. I have to catch the Therian. Maybe then Velvet will see me for who I am. Ugh. Not a bite. Oh, quit your grumbling. Who was it who said fishing doesn't always go how you think it will? <laughs> Spoken like a true heartless pirate. Oh, hey! I've got something! <gasps> Whoa, looks like I'm next. <sighs> Not a single decent catch. I think it's decent. Huh? Take half measures, do you, kid? Hmm? What's wrong, Laffy said? He 
You look ridiculous. Take that off. Stop it! What do you know about me anyway? I... I know that looks silly on you. All you know is your Lofi! <laughs> hey, Velvet! Something's pulling on your rod. Huh? Oh. It's a big one! Give it everything you've got! I know what I'm doing! It's... It's a big one, all right, but... A pot. Yay. But what's a pot doing out here? There's something inside it. Stop making those noises. Watch out! They're armed to the street and they're shouting. Let's... I did good, didn't I? Phew! That was scary. Be more careful before you approach a suspicious object. You think Laffy would have stayed back? That has nothing to do with this! Hold on. There's something else inside. Now we gotta fight the shambling dead? A zombo pod! Alright! I'm not one to go easy. An octopus army? A horde of undead? What the hell is this pot? Magnificent. To think I'd get to see one with my own eyes. Huh? Is there something special about this creepy old pot? <laughs> creepy, you say? That's why these things need to be left to the professionals. Listen and behold. This is none other than a water jug made by the potter Groon during King Clauden's reign. It was a legendary once-in-a-millennium masterpiece. But it was lost in the Second Warring States period 200 years ago. Assertive, yet not ostentatious, the piece draws you in with its stately curves and the subtle shimmer of its colors, which belie a hidden savagery. <sighs> Two lectures in one day. <sighs> yeah, he's talking gibberish, but that's men in general, I suppose. The lost glazing technique of the Orosaurin is so vibrant, it looks like it could start moving at any moment. Oh, and start moving it did. Look out! The pot's a demon! Whatever you guys do, make sure you don't smash it! So, can I smash it? That's even worse! Stop arguing and fight already! Hold up! Form 7! I said! Form 7! It's finally decided to behave itself. Wait, Velvet! Don't eat it! It's a pot. I'm not gonna eat it. <sighs> I guess there weren't any Therians to be found here after all. Yeah, if there'd have been any, you'd think Ol' Eisen's Reaper curse would have drawn him out. Oh, so that's why all we caught today were weird, useless things. 
Right. I forgot about the curse. So all this was Aizen's fault, huh? Funny how quickly you get used to it. Oh... My power didn't end up helping us out at all. Nope. Hmm... But I know you're not the type to give up after a little setback. Isn't that right, Fee? Huh? Fee? It's your nickname. Not a whole lot of thought put into it, but... You're you. You're Fee. Velvet. Fee. I like it. It has personality. Thanks. Of course, if you still feel like giving up. No, I'm gonna find us the next Earth Pulse Point. Oh, hey. There's something else inside the pot. This golden luster, it's... It's Orichalcum! I get it now. This must be where that ship sank all those years ago. The one Kurogane told us about. Hell yeah! Kurogane might actually be able to make me an Orichalcum sword. Nice find, Aizen. You too, Lafayette. It wasn't easy, but we didn't come away empty-handed. And just getting a chance to fish again was lots of fun. Yeah, I had a really good time too. Even I was entertained. Especially your little costume show, kiddo. The sun's going down soon. Let's head back to Titania. special. Food's ready. Food's ready. It's nothing special. Food's ready. It's nothing special. One of my special... Food's ready. It's nothing special. One of the surprising how I can do this with no sense of taste. Food's ready. It's nothing special. 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 One of my specialties from a long time ago. Food's ready. It's nothing special. Food's surprising how I can do this with no sense of taste. One of my specialties. From a food's ready. It's nothing special. 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 Hmm. What else do they have in common? What are you up to? 
I'm compiling everything we know about Earth Pulse points. I'll compare those points with the ones that didn't have any Therians. Once that's done, I'll match all that information against what we know about the locations Lafayette was able to sense. When that's completed, we should be able to tell which locations are more likely to house a Therian. You're really going all out, aren't you? Must you sound so incredulous? If you're going to do something, then give it your all! R right. I'm not doing this for you. This is for me and for Lafayette. Do you even understand why that boy's trying so hard? Yeah, I do. Lafayette! I spy! I spy! Uh, I can't, Kamawana. I I've got stuff to... I spy with my little eye! Something that starts with V! <sighs> okay, I'll try. Uh, is it... Velvet? <laughs> no fair! How'd you do it so fast? Wait, Kamawana, I'm sorry. You don't have to cry. <laughs> Poor Fee. Oh, hey, Velvet. You don't mind if I give Kudogane that orichalcum you fished up, do you? Doesn't matter to me. Well, I don't know. What does the expert think? Conventionally, no, it's impossible. I won't argue that. We're dealing with the hardest metal in existence. But I'm ready to cast aside all doubt. If anybody can do it, it's you. Good luck, Kudogane. Yeah, best of luck. been practicing your dev impression, Velvet? What? No. Now, now. A performer in Mogilu's menagerie has to be more diligent than that. What if we're stopped at a checkpoint and the guards ask you to perform a trick? If that happens, I'll show them my trick where I devour an entire witch faster than the blink of an eye. Oh, that would be a sight indeed. But seriously, if you ever want some magic tricks up your sleeve, let me know and I'll teach you some. Just 10,000 gold each. Hey, what do you say we track down another Therian? Sure. From what I can tell, the next closest Earth Pulse Point is near the center of Midgand. Midgand, huh? The capital's not far from there. Only one way to find out. Maybe so, but Aizen's not here, you know. You're right. I haven't seen him in a while. We should probably ask Benwick where he wandered off to. Yeah. Hmm? Uh, hold on. There's a letter here. On pretty cutesy stationery, too. As the cold turns bitter and the snow piles up on the mountains, I cannot help but think of you and hope you are in good cheer. As for myself, I am the same as ever, although I recently acquired a rare item that I shall be sending your... It's rude to read other people's letters, you know. Yeah, but how else are we supposed to find out whose it is? Does it say who the sender is? Uh... Uzfamewu Wexov. Who the hell is that? Probably someone on this island, if I had to guess. Hey! Anybody lose a letter? Do any of these folks look like the type to write a fancy letter? Point taken. It could be one of the pirates. Why don't we go to the docks and ask around? Fine. Just don't forget our mission. Apply this time either? Eh, but she's doing okay. I can say that much. That's good to hear. I can rest easy then. Now's about getting that pot wrapped. I's got this new sunflower print, huh? How's that sound? Hmm. Yeah, that one's cute enough. Let's go with that. Did... Did he just say cute? <clears throat> Help you with something? Someone dropped this letter. Do you have any idea who it might be? You didn't read it, did you? Wait, it's yours? We didn't read it. Much. You really didn't read it? N no, of course not. 
Put this letter in with the package. Who's got it? When you ship with the Turtles Express, rest assured your mail is in good hands. If you're done here, we're ready to head out. Yeah, I'm all set. Was he sending a gift to someone? Gotta be a lady friend, that's for sure. You think? Either way, that letter was really polite. Yeah, I didn't know old Reaps had it in him. I can hear you two, you know. Ah! Yikes. Better watch what we say from now on. Yeah. Hey, Aizen, is there, uh, anything we can do about the Prince's Hawk? Every day, it goes out on these hunts or whatever, and brings back the weirdest stuff. Hawk's hunt? What's the big deal? Well, yeah. At first it was bringing back good stuff like seaweed and fish, things we could cook with. Now we're talking 150 kilo amber cans and 350 kilo killer swordfish that it's catching. That's not a bad thing, is it? It just means more to eat. It is when they're being dropped from the sky onto the deck. Especially those killer swordfish and razor-sharp bills! What if somebody gets run through by one? Can't you just warn the prince that his bird needs to be more careful? Yeah, we could, but he looks so happy watching his hawk, I'd hate to spoil it for him. Yeah, the prince looks so happy whenever Griffin is flying free. He kept grinning and asking Grocky all nice-like if he wanted to fly some more. Grocky? That's what Kamawana kept calling Griffin. She says she came up with it by combining Griffin and Hawk. <sighs> this is probably the first time in the Prince's life that he's tasted any freedom. His whole life he's only done what duty dictated of him. To the Prince, Grocky is an extension of who he is. So what are we going to do? Nothing, really. It's not like it really hurt anybody. But it's punctured some major holes on the deck! I'm sure even the Prince knows when to rein it in. I don't know about all that. I'd say the Prince is letting his newfound freedom get the better of him. Hey, I was just up on deck and it looks like Griffin's caught an elephant tuna this time. An elephant tuna? That's the really big tuna that can swallow a killer whale whole, right? That almost sounds like a demon to me. Yep, huge fish, gills like elephant ears. I saw it myself. It's crazy valuable. On a good day, it can fetch 20 million gold on the market. But there's something ominous about seeing it hovering in the air above the ship. 20 million gold? I take back everything I said. The Prince and Griffin can do whatever they want. Did she say above the ship? Oh, hell. Benwick, we need to stop Prince Percival. Aye, aye, sir. Hey! Don't drop that on the deck! Are you listening to me? 